so soon. Hi everybody. So here I am. I am still alive. Um, <laughs> so uh, I have been wondering about this kind of living stuff. I do not understand what it is, why it is, and what's going on. So I thought, let's look at that today. So I have it here. And I had some interesting uh, discussions on uh, Twitter uh, because apparently I don't understand this pack. And yeah, so <laughs> let's read what this is about. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, think big, build small. Get the Sims 4 China Living Stuff Pack to cr uh, create uh, the tiny comfy home of your Sims dream. Okay, so it's about building a small home to be comfy. All right. With a never before created residential lot type of tiny homes and stylish space area and furniture, embrace comfort culture with great Sim items that highlight your Sims cozy lifestyle. Live comfy PJs and oversized cashmere sweaters. All right. Key features. Build your small place, downsize your sims dwellings with this brand new residential lot that provides fun size challenges and unique benefits to your sims when they meet their tiny home requirements. Maximize your mini. Okay, uh, well, so far it's about being comfy and cozy and snuggle up together, I suppose. Maximize your mini. Make the most of your sim space with a Murphy bed combo, so you save space with new furniture, okay? This medium-sized furniture combo comes with a two-seat love seat attached to a large storage compartment. All right, so saving space. Keep it cozy, a bit, again, being cozy and snug and, and that sort of thing. Uh, customize your sim's tiny homes with space-saving combo objects like the all-in-one stereo, TV, and bookshelf, and sleek furniture with a pop of color. All right, but those are not um, just, a, just a note that <laughs> I have here, is that the TV bookshelf and stuff, is that's not things that you absolutely need. What you do need is uh, a toilet, a bed, and cooking food somehow, and those are the ones that take space that you just can't, you can't um, compromise with the space those take up. So I would expect if if this pack is about building small, that those are the areas uh, that that I would expect them to focus on. So uh, this Murphy bed, sure. I've never used one in real life. I uh, scarcely used them when I've had them in The Sims, but all right, okay. Uh, stay snug in style. Outfit your Sims in comfy new creative Sim items like a dress shirt or turtleneck that represent their low key lifestyle. Okay. But you know, I have so much custom content for clothes that I don't care about the clothes. Is that, is this all I get to know before I actually buy it? All right, so it has now been downloaded, fantastic, and we can play it. And while it loads, I'm just gonna note something here. Why why doesn't nothing happen when I... While this loads up, I'm just gonna note a thing here. Like, did you hear the word environment anywhere in there? Did you hear eco-friendly anywhere in there? Because I didn't, and uh, I was called insane on Twitter for, you know, linking a stove that saves space if you have a dishwasher under it. And to me, the dishwasher is like essential because it saves, uh, a, what, what's it called, countertop space. You don't need a sink in the kitchen, and also it stops Sims from washing dishes in the toilet because that's very irritating so um and i was like you could put the dishwasher under it and people were like no that top 
tabletop stove does not save space in tiny living because it's not eco-friendly to have a dishwasher. And I was like, is tiny living about eco-friendly things? Because no one told me this. There was not nothing in the commercials for it. And tiny living is not a thing in Sweden. So like, I didn't remember what it was. <laughs> so if, is that sort of implied? And I'm, am I actually insane for wanting to have a dishwasher even in a tiny home? <laughs> I'm just saying, people got mad. <laughs> Anyway, so what is it about? What is not talking about what it's not about, talking about what it is about. Okay, so build your space, small space, downsize your sims, blah, blah, blah. This is the same thing that we already read, I think. Maximize your mini. Yes, this is the same. And we have some nice pictures here of the Murphy bed that is apparently a death trap as far as I can tell from videos I've seen. Like, Sims die from that all the time, so I don't think I will be very inclined to use it in my regular saves, because in my regular saves, the main character cannot die, because then I will fail the legacy challenge that I'm mostly of, most often doing. So, but let's create a new game by loading an existing game, of course. So we'll take this Annika game here, and we are going to save it as save it as Tiny Living because maybe I don't know if I have custom content installed now because I didn't uninstall it. Uh, save as. Tiny living, and we're not going to do it with Annika. But we're going to be in that world. I always do this, by the way, because then uh, I recognize all the Sims from my other storyline. Story okay, so can I take this lot then? So if I go into build mode <laughs> and like destroy their house, <laughs> and, then, and then they can have their like almost 20,000 20, simoleons to build a house. <laughs> I like doing that, by the way, Start from, starting from scratch. Okay, so this house doesn't have any furniture anyways, so we're gonna bulldoze everything. There we go. This is the game-generated son of mine. <laughs> I have no son in real life. That I know of. So loud. Okay, so how does this work then? We're going to build mode. Is it here? How does it work? I don't understand. Is it actually not installed? Here's all the things. All right, but how do I do the lot type? I don't understand. Please tell me how to do this. Okay, I'll go to YouTube and find out. Okay. Who came up with that? Who decided these rules? Uh, okay, okay. What? I'm supposed to have it there. I probably had a mod interfering, so okay. Apply. Why does this button says apply, but then I, I, I need to restart the game anyway? So that was probably it, that I had some mod that adds lot types. And because this adds lot types, it probably doesn't work together. I mean, to be honest, uh, if a mod interferes with the actual gameplay that you're supposed to be getting, I think the game should have a check for that and like realize that it's not able to show me the UI that I should have and put a notification on that and say hey you have a mod like it doesn't need to say what mod it is it could just say you you have some mod that 
prevents us from giving you the gaming experience. I mean, here we go. <laughs> this is what I was expecting. The tiny home residential is now available. See, this is a big, nice square. <laughs> I can't miss it. Would you pl like to place the lot now? Uh, oh, in Burma. So they have some sort of template. Um, okay, we can place this here. Sure. Okay. Furnished. But we're gonna... <laughs> but I'm gonna bulldoze it. Because... It's... I want to build my own tiny home, but okay, okay, let's let's look at their thing then. All right, and oh, a pre-shipped lot with terrain editing. Hmm. Hey, hey, EA, could you like fix it? So like, see this lot here has this color here that matches the the, the map. Could you like change the map color so that it matches the actual terrain instead? Because then all of this would look better, <laughs> right? <laughs> like this doesn't look good. It looks like every single bit of this lot is edited and it's not. Okay, so this is their idea of a tiny home. You have a microwave instead of an oven. So that you don't have to chop anything. So you only eat microwave food and get that nasty mood let from uh, university about not eating right, I assume. Uh, so that's not good. But then you have this TV unit here. So this kitchen is like has to change because this won't work in the long run. You ha you have to go out and eat a lot a lot a lot so that that won't do we need we need <laughs> so okay so the people that was like i need a different stove was actually right because i mean uh th this proposed kitchen doesn't even have a stove see and if i remove this and re replace it with a stove then we can't cook anything because now we're going to shop it so we need to remove this and have a counter instead and all the counters are yeah you know okay like that and now we're, where are you going to eat well we have nice seating here so i mean this <laughs> this is loads better and i would why is there still not a clickable clickable dishwasher in here the dishwasher aren't even in here it's so annoying you need to fix your shit ea okay come on like that okay so this dishwasher doesn't look very eco-friendly i wonder what the environmental markings on this one is i don't know who knows but let's let's just pretend it's the same that i have in my kitchen and that's pretty eco-friendly Actually, it uses way less water than I would if I would like get the dishes that clean. You know, you can't get the dishes that clean w manually without using way more water. So that's why the dishwashers are eco friendly. Okay, so <laughs> I said I was going to scrap this, and I am. I am. I'm just gonna have a long look at it. Okay, so. Um, there's thousands of videos testing exactly this lot, so so I don't and I don't see point with having that. Okay, bulldoze everything and the terrain. There we go. Okay, so I'm thinking that we should start. What what is going on now? Okay, requirement. Oh right, tiny little. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do the micro home because there's only two sims, and we are going to start with twenty thousand simoleons and nothing more. You need at least four place tiles. You currently have zero. Okay. So I need four tiles. Okay. So uh, where are they gonna have it? You know, let's have it here. Okay, four tiles. 
fantastic. <laughs> How are you gonna place? You need more because you need. You need at least three tiles to have room for a bed. And like, okay. <laughs> how how many tiles do I get to have? You have placed nine of 32. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What is happening? Oh, 64. So you can have a small home for a hundred. Okay. The thing that everyone is building is probably a micro home then. Okay, so let's start with the living room because we gotta have that. So, yeah, like this. And then we need, I said we needed a toilet, okay. So we have this new toilet that saves absolutely no space, but there it is. And then nothing new in the kitchen. Oh, we have this one. Okay, so this functions while off the grid. So since everyone was nagging me about the environment, then I think we should have off the grid type thing on just because no one understands that there's a different between difference between off the grid and tiny home. No, wait, wait. Nowhere did it say that I had to be eco-friendly. It doesn't say that. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do a celebrity home. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so we have like we don't need this. We can just throw everything out, you know. So let's just put a garbage bin over here. There you go. Oh, and no, we can't have a door. There's a door. Okay, so I said we needed to sleep, we needed to poop, we needed to kitchen. Uh, so, like, why is there no new stove? That, that is actually pretty annoying. So let's take this one. This looks eco-friendly because this is probably one of those, if you remove the pot things, then it stops being hot, like induction. So, all right, I did it. <laughs> That's all you need. Can they actually use it though? We could live here for quite a, a time, I think. Like, okay, so does he has any needs? No, he, he wants to go to work. Okay, go to school then. Right, okay, why do you live together with this person? They're just acquaintances. She, he's just living with her for some reason. Maureen Sundin, okay. And she looks pregnant, yeah. So, so this is gonna work out lovely. Look at this tiny home I built. Now, since they have like this horrible home, that like, wouldn't you fight if you had this home? Like. <laughs> There's windows on the door and the toilet is right inside. <laughs> so, but you'd get uh, using less space means using less energy, which means lower will. Oh, the kitchen isn't complete, is it? I was cheating. We can't do this. We need least to have this big. What is happening? Okay, so we need, we actually need a refrigerator like we could use this one though can't intersect other objects it's not intersecting other objects but I could put it here nope there then okay and then I can still have a counter and I just did the dishwasher again now the reason I choose a slightly more expensive stove is for reasons. It it might it might catch on fire. <laughs> I don't know. Now then, is this is this a functional home? Now this is stupid. Like if you want to live in this small space, then you don't want to walk long bit outside to throw the garbage out. We don't actually need this, I think, <laughs> because um, you can just throw all the dishes out here. That's eco-friendly. B 
build new, uh, create new dishes and just throw them out. So you use no water. <laughs> Very eco-friendly. Uh, do we need anything else? Like a study is needed, but they could put the crib here, I guess, maybe, or outside, uh, but that's cheating. Um, we, uh, windows, we might have windows. Windows are nice. Let's have a window. Yeah, look, we got some light in here. Oh, and uh, we also might need a roof. I mean, come on. That might be needed. Okay, let's let's put this here. Me. And some nice. It's. I mean, everybody knows if you make your house out of wood, then it's more eco-friendly. Then if not, look how eco-friendly this is. There's even wood on the inside, so no extra materials for like plaster and you know, what are they called? Uh, wallpapers and stuff like that. Nothing like that, just wood. And then no concrete floor. We have a wooden floor. Um, nature colored because the white color probably has lead in it <laughs> there we go look at this such eco-friendliness okay so let's let's play test this oh oh i didn't i didn't read so now you're an adult okay okay yes okay and he loves music awesome stop it i was building why, why are you are you pregnant also we get all of these benefits for living in this horrible home. Uh, we don't have bills, but I, I mean, who worries about the bills in Sims? I mean, you, you plant like one bush and then you plant all the things you harvest from that. And then you get like 700 every time you uh, harvest everything. So it's, it's like, it's no problem. And everyone gets along. All relationships gains are doubled. That sounds like a lot. I don't know if it is. Let it grow. Plants grow twice as fast as normal because we have this tiny house here. Like, what if I didn't have a house? <laughs> all right. You got the touch. Oh, ha feeling happy all the time. What? Okay. Focus buffs last twice as long. You got the touch. Why? Why? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand it, these buffs. I was like reluctant to get this because I thought like a lot of these buffs, like the game is already too easy. <laughs> so, so why would I want even more easiness? I don't get it. Uh, you get the touch. Skills increase at double the standard rate. Cozy comfort. Like, why would you learn faster if you need to be outside all the time? I don't understand. Uh, relax. Everything is twice as comfortable as it is generally. Okay, so you, you, don't, you don't need comfort. That's unnecessary. So what we don't have here is anything for fun. And maybe we should use that Harmony. slot for that. Like we have one extra slot that we could use for that. But now they're all like happy from the start. Presents tomorrow. Is he get going to get presents tomorrow? What? Why would he get presents? Because it's oh, Christmas Eve. <laughs> Alright. Okay, but le le let's just let them be here and like speed it up and see what needs aren't being met. Okay, so he went on the toilet. That worked fine. Uh, all right, so university, apply for scholarships. Why can't I apply for all the scholarships at, uh, at once? It's like, I wanna click them all. Okay, so he's all happy and she's all happy. So like, okay. Since we don't get bills, we don't need to work. Is there a way to 
to buy seeds without actually owning a planter. I don't know. Okay, we don't need a big one. We, we just need a big enough one so that we get the option to purchase seeds. So we want flowers because the flowers, oftentimes when you evolve them, they yield a lot of money. <laughs> Open seed package. Now we don't need that planter anymore. We move. Like th there's probably a way to do that without owning a planter, but I, d I don't know it. Okay. So fall and winter. Oh, that's lucky because it's fall and winter now. So like my only explanation for the, the seeds or the plants growing better is that we, we don't they don't need to be in the shade of a house because the house is so small so let's build them here in the shade of the house <laughs> that's logic isn't it okay what are you going to do you're just sad because no one remembered your birthday uh, I didn't know it was your birthday you need to tell me these things but they they all have cell phones so they, what they don't need any fun <laughs> So that's that. <laughs> but don't just sit there, go and water some stuff. Oh, a friend. Hello. Who are you? What, what is he doing here? Daichi Okada. Okada. All right. Why don't you live with your wife? She apparently has a wife and she's not living with her. Alright, well, okay. Who am I to judge? Okay, but the, here's like a functioning home. Like, you're welcome. So, like, let's... Why? Why? There is counter space. On top of this, I thought you could cook on top of this. Let's do this. <laughs> and then put a microwave on top and I'll show you. They will get... No, what's going on? I want to go here. There we go. Uh, microwave. The cheapest one because we're cheap. Like, to me it feels like this pack is about living cheap. <laughs> like, while going to university, for, for example, because all skills are um, doubled. So now she can have a quick meal chicken nuggets or something oh go p2 there we go now we have lots of space for fun things here Me wait wait can i put this it doesn't help does it well i could do <laughs> because we are trying to wait wait i can actually do this can i actually Look, I just made the house even smaller. So now you can eat, you can poop, you can sleep. I think you can sleep. We need to... We need to figure that thing out. Actually, I could just put in two sofas like that. And they can sleep on the sofa, like... What's the thing about that? Alright, so now the bed is done, but can you actually sleep in it? Can you both sleep in it at the same time? Like... Since they were living together, I thought that they were together, but apparently this chick, like, got pregnant with her wife or something. Like, who is she pregnant with? I don't know. And then she moved in with this guy. <laughs> Why? She's not even in love with him. He, she is. I'm going to live with this guy. That's what happens when you have empty command center weird things happen no she can't get to the bed because in the sims there's no scooting scooching you can you can't scooch that's impossible see now she creates plate from thin air or like uh apparently this refrigerator produces them i think and then when she's done with it she's gonna throw it away and it's very eco-friendly I know. Yeah. Nowhere in this. Oh, micro home. Gaze upon the micro home. Gain increased durations to happy, inspired, and focused both. 
blah blah fantastic bonus for relationship okay so they put a fine moodlet here uh, but that's how the game works you can make this invisible but why would you i can't hear myself think you can probably not hear me either it's probably stupid I don't know. But see, they're all happy. They don't need to sleep at the si same time. They, they don't actually need to p take this down at any time. Because you can probably sleep in the sofa. So, like, this whole having a bed thing is like, you're in the way. I c okay. So now, look, look at this. So we can take this lovely love seat and we can have two of them see and now if you're tired you can just nap here and if you're tired you can just nap here come on nap there see they won't sleep all night but i mean who needs to do that they're not even tired see and then you can like throw away these noodles see <laughs> fantastic student home achieved you can even build a second room with a study and still living in a micro home but like this is a micro home and it's like it's the worst home that i've ever seen <laughs> nobody lives like this like why would anyone want this it's horrible <laughs> i don't understand but it would be great for my like um can i like turn this off by the way like if i if I want to, no, I want a residential home because now I've, I've said that it's small, but now you don't get the bonuses, right? Will this uh, go away? Maybe? I think so. And see, um, since this is a micro home, this will be plenty of comfort. You don't need anything else. That's no, not needed. See? <laughs> this is all you need. <laughs> Alright, so this stuff pack is confusing to me. It's still confusing, I don't understand it, but now I have it, so okay. <laughs> and these two people living in here, and they're like, she's uh, so happy that she has a micro home. Like, what? Who is, who is, who is she? Why are you? I, I don't get it. Like, will you still be happy if I take one of these giant windows and put here around the, the toilet? Like, you can live in a greenhouse for all I care because I have so much money s uh, left over because we, we don't need stuff. There you go. Now you can pretend you're living outside. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop now and... Um, this was my uh, two cents about this pack that I don't understand still. So um, if, if you understand it, then well, yeah, let me know in the comment section because I don't, I really don't understand it. Okay, bye now.